If I woke up tomorrow and had forgotten everything I've learned over the last 15 years working in business intelligence, this is what I would do to become a BI analyst. The step-by-step -step guide I'd follow to go from zero to hireable in 2025. Knowing everything I know now. Let's jump in. The very first thing I do is focus on understanding the business data landscape. That means learning where data comes from, what different formats look like, how to access it, and how it flows through an organization. You need to understand the difference between things like structured, semi-structured, and unstructured data, how APIs work, how cloud data warehouses store information, and how analysts typically get access to the data they need. Oh, and learn about data governance as well. Basically, the fundamentals of data. Data is at the heart of everything you do as a BI analyst, so if you don't understand it, well, you're going to struggle. Once I've developed a clear understanding of the data landscape, the next step is to learn SQL. SQL is arguably the most important technical skill in business intelligence. It allows you to query, clean, and shape data directly from databases. If you don't know SQL, you're dependent on others to access and manipulate the very thing your job is built around. Every BI analyst needs to take it seriously. Saying that, you don't need to be a SQL master. No one is expecting that of you at entry level. And even I, with my many years of experience, don't consider myself to be a SQL expert. Because I simply haven't needed to be. And anything I don't know can easily be learned from the web or AI on a case-by-case -case basis. Perhaps you expected me to mention Excel before SQL. Well, the truth is, Excel just doesn't play as important a role in business intelligence as SQL does. That said, it's still used by an estimated 750 million people worldwide. So as a BI analyst, you can't ignore it. The key is knowing when to use it. Excel is great for preparing flat files like CSVs or for quick local data exploration when it's the best tool for the job. But beyond that, it isn't suited for scalable BI projects. That's why tools like Power BI and Tableau exist, to handle the kind of structured reporting and dashboarding that Excel simply wasn't designed for. In short, there are strictly two main reasons analysts use Excel in a BI context. Number one, as a data source that you load into your BI tool, or two, to clean and prepare Excel or CSV data to then load into a BI tool. So it's fair to say that anyone teaching Excel as a core BI tool for reporting doesn't understand business intelligence in 2025. Knowing how to use SQL properly, and more importantly, when to move beyond it, is what makes the difference. So once I had a solid base in SQL and a clear understanding of Excel and its role, I'd focus on learning the tools that bring data to life. Specifically, I'd master Power BI, Tableau, and Looker Studio. Power BI and Tableau are the two most widely used BI tools today and serve broadly similar audiences, business users and analysts across many sectors. Looker Studio, on the other hand, tends to mostly be used by marketers and teams embedded deeply within Google's ecosystem. What is key to understand is that all BI tools are ultimately built to help you achieve the same core tasks. Connect to data, model it, analyze it, and present it in a way that drives decisions, i.e. in interactive dashboards. What this means is that once you've mastered one, picking up another becomes much easier. So learning multiple tools like Power BI, Tableau, and Looker Studio gives you a big advantage when it comes to landing a job because you're covering more ground and giving yourself the flexibility to meet the needs of different employers and industries. Learning BI tools isn't just about understanding the software. It's also about developing the skills to communicate effectively through data. That means learning the principles of good data visualization and storytelling. These aren't just technical add-ons, they're essential if you want your work to make an impact. As a BI analyst, you're typically working from a project brief or stakeholder requirements. You don't usually get to build whatever you like. Your role is to take those requirements and translate them into a clear, effective dashboard that communicates the right insights to the right people. 
That means being able to choose the most appropriate chart type, highlight key findings, and structure information in a way that helps people make decisions. The goal isn't to create the flashiest dashboard, it's to create one that's accurate, purposeful, and easy to understand. By this point, you'll already have a good grasp of where data comes from and how it's structured. Now it's time to go deeper and understand the systems that make large-scale business intelligence possible. That means learning about data hubs, cloud data warehouses like BigQuery, Snowflake and Redshift, and how organizations move and transform their data using ETL pipelines. This isn't about becoming a fully-fledged data engineer, but you do need to understand the basics. How data is extracted, cleaned and loaded, how it's scheduled and automated, and how analysts fit into that broader infrastructure. Understanding this layer of the BI stack makes you significantly more valuable. Because you're no longer just building dashboards, you're really plugged in to how the entire data flow works. So let's talk about the proverbial elephant in the room, AI. There's a lot of clickbaity talk about how it's going to make BI analysts redundant, but fear not, that's not what's going to happen. In fact, I made a video on this very subject recently, so check it out if you're interested. In 2025, AI is, in fact, your secret weapon. It's not going to replace you, but if you don't learn how to use it, someone who does will, if that makes sense. AI can help you summarize data and dashboards, write code queries, and even generate reports. But you need to know when to trust it and when to take the wheel. There are no shortcuts here. You still have to learn the underlying skills yourself. AI can sometimes produce outputs that are inaccurate, misleading, or just plain wrong. If you implement those suggestions without knowing what you're doing, it can cause real problems. That's why it's so important to understand the fundamentals yourself, so you can spot when something just doesn't look right. AI is a powerful assistant, but you're still the analyst. Use it to work faster, not to avoid learning what matters. Once you've got the skills, you need to prove it, and that means building a portfolio. But not just a gallery of dashboards. You want three or more real-world projects that actually solve real-world business problems. Each project should tell a story. What was the challenge? What data did you work with? What insights did you uncover? Don't just throw dashboards on GitHub. Create a proper site and walk viewers through your process. This is where you stop being a student and start becoming a BI analyst. Check out this video for more information on building a standout portfolio. Now let me give you a final piece of advice that's just as important as any tool or technique. Mindset. The best BI analysts I've worked with aren't just technically skilled, they're endlessly curious, business-minded, and focused on outcomes. Always think about how your work helps the business move forward, and always show up ready to solve problems. That mindset will take you further than any certification ever could. So that's exactly what I would do if I was starting from scratch in 2025. And that's exactly why I teach it all in my BI Analyst training program. And if you want a guided path through all of this, from mastering SQL and BI tools to building real-world projects and using AI effectively, then check out the BI Analyst Starter Program at the Learn BI Academy, link in the description. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. It really helps support the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, bye.